all of my dear students assalamu alaikum in our last video we expressed you to about the displacement velocity and acceleration of simple harmonic motion but i know a question is knocking in your mind that where we observe this type of motion in our daily life commonly into the electrical engineering field and the analysis of heartbeat in medical science on the other hand we also learn from the theory lecture circular motion is converting into the linear motion to explain clearly displacement velocity and acceleration is simple harmonic motion where we observe it in a swing machine by rotating its wheel and needle starts up and down the rotation of wheel is a circular motion and the ups and down of the needle is the linear motion that's been like this way this is the best mechanical example where we observe a circular motion convert into the linear motion by practicing math we can introduce this type of examples easily so let us start our mathematical segment on basis of simple harmonic motion Ratno, if you want to learn the mathematical part of physics well, you have to have a good idea of its formulas first. Our today's topic on the basis of mathematical part of displacement, velocity and acceleration of simple harmonic motion. Now, first of all, we made a clear concept about the formula one by one. At first, displacement. In our basic lecture, we describe you to how to a circular motion considered as a linear motion by using sine graph. We found an equation of displacement also. I give you a flashback now. Here, a circular motion. We consider a particle is position is now here. If you flash a light from this side, the shadow of the particle we will be find. here this is the screen and the position of the particle shadow of the position of the position of the particle is here and the displacement of the particle on this screen we consider is x and side by side we consider a spring when we uh, pull it down and release from here and it is it will be start vibrating and it we know is the is the vibrating of a, a oscillation of a spring is a simple harmonic motion we consider now the position at here is called the equilibrium position it's similar to the this point and we express by this oscillation by using this sine graph the starting position of this graph also here in our basic lecture theory lecture we derive a equation of the displacement and it's a known equation x equal to a sine omega t we consider this is the initial stage or on the stage of vibrating we just take a snap and the position of the spring is here is the equilibrium position and when we start we consider this point is the starting point that's why we consider the time period is zero or counting time is zero if we put the time is zero here sign zero zero that's when position is zero this is called the origin x equal to zero if the position of the spring is another stage, how if is the circular motion, circular path, and we consider when the spring compressed here, we made a snap. And we consider this initial stage for this experiment. Initial stage that's been t equal to zero. But here we observe that the position of the particle and the position of the spring initially gains an angle and this angle is called the phase angle or initial phase angle. If we express this situation by a sine graph, we never express like this way. Here initially a phase is introduced or add or gain by this component, by this vibration and in this vibration and this is the initial stage and after that it will be ups and down again we flat we uh, we 
made a flash of light here. The position of the particle on the screen is this. And this is the origin. And we made or we gain a positive x value. Or we express this position at this situation by this equation. A sin omega t plus del. If you put the value of the t equal to 0, that we can find x equal to a sin del. That's been it's a positive value. And here also the image of the point or oscillation or the sign graph where everywhere we find the positive value. If the initial angle or phase angle becomes zero, that has been del equal to zero a sin omega t. And this is the equal to the this equation. So that this equation is incomplete and this is the general equation to express displacement for any point. You can ask me another question here that uh, sir every every time the spring is a compressed position it can be possible it, is, it can be uh, uh, gain a expand position like this way. This expanded position of the spring from the equilibrium position. Here the initial phase angle is now del is placed here or gained here. How can we express this equation? And uh, what is what about the sine graph? Here is starting point, and now it is move on. What will be the equation? X equal to a sine omega t minus del, because it's the behind from the or below from the equilibrium position. If I made a flash again, the position of the particle we made here. And this is the origin point x equal to 0 and this is called the minus x position. Now we made a snap here that means the initial state is t equal to 0 and put the t equal to 0 x equal to a sine minus del that means x equal to minus a sine del. This is equal to the, this situation all over the minus sign is gained. And you can convert it into the plus equation also. How? If we consider the angle from the anticlockwise. If you consider this is the del, you can always choose this equation. So that I comment you or uh, suggest you that you always consider or memorize this equation for displacement. And we can confirm the equation of the displacement is x equal to a sine omega t plus del. Now I need to express uh, the name of the component. Here x, x is the displacement a amplitude omega t plus del phase angle and very important del initial angle initial angle in concern for the initial angle you always consider t equal to 0 the time period when the question is for find out the initial angle always consider time period t equal to 0 and when is the question for find out the initial angle when the question is for find out the initial angle uh, you can you always observe that del is inside the angle of sine that's mean it's always considered as the unit of radian you can also express by degree after calculating the math but if you put the value of the del inside the equation always converting into the radian and then put the value in this equation v equal to omega a cos omega t plus del and for the acceleration a equal to minus omega square a sine omega t plus del we learned or we observed the graph of the displacement but when for the velocity here is the cos 
cos is the sine graph that's the opposite sine graph opposite sine this means cos graph like this way and when it is considered for the graph of the acceleration is totally minus that's been the opposite of the displacement graph but omega square omega square uh, decrease the amplitude of the graph and which is like this way it is the graph of the acceleration this is the graph of the acceleration and uh, why uh, you learn this graph sometimes you observe that the stem uh, come with the graph and if you understand this graph properly or concern about this graph properly then you can answer the uh, questions also now then it's the first equation of the velocity the second equation v equal to omega root over a square minus x square and for the third it's called the maximum velocity omega a and when it's concerned for the acceleration the first equation is here and the second equation of the acceleration equal to minus omega square x and another equation a max equal to minus omega square here v is the velocity a acceleration a amplitude omega t plus del which is i discussed earlier and x is the displacement from the equilibrium position or origin position now omega is take place everywhere what is omega omega is as a known as the angular frequency or angular velocity the equation of the omega is the omega equal to angular frequency when you choose the first equation when angle is given when you choose the second uh, equal one when time period the full oscillation is the concern for the full oscillation that's when time period is given when you consider the last one when frequencies are given frequency sometimes you observe that in your textbook it's uh, sometimes written by that's why you can choose omega equal to 2 pi n also A radian per second this is the unit of omega after take a short review or flash we can move on mathematics part now now we start our first math here a particle pull 10 cm from the equilibrium position and then it's then let's go so it's oscillate in simple harmonic motion how can we express this now uh, follow on this picture we consider this is our particle and this is the equilibrium position equilibrium position when it start oscillating it oscillate to left side and side by side it's right side left right it's a start oscillate when it's a start oscillate the pull 10 centimeter from the equilibrium the 10 centimeter means where the displacement at the end x equal to 10 centimeter and so it oscillates in simple harmonic when it's let it go is when it release from here it moves to the opposite end and it's called minus 10 centimeter and after that it oscillate like this way it concludes a complete oscillation in every second in every second complete oscillation Complete oscillation means it takes time period one second. Determine the position of the particles 4.5 seconds after letting it go. We can also express uh, this topic by the pendulum. We know this is the equilibrium position of the pendulum when it is and displacement x equal to 10 centimeter and if it's released from the a point it's moves on the b point and after that is the come back to the a point it's called complete oscillation it takes one second now we need to determine first the what is the initial phase when it's start let it go we know x equal to a sine omega t plus del here displacement
at the initial time t equal to 0 second. Now put the value x equal to 10, x equal to 0 0.1, 0 0.1 sin omega t plus del. Here t, t equal to 0 second. 0 0.1, 0 0.1, this means 1 sin del. So that del equal to 90 degree and del equal to pi by 2 radian. When it's released from the end, the initial phase angle or initial angle will be pi by 2 or 90 degree. Now the question is, determine the position of the particle after 4.5 second. We release from here and come back to the initial stage one second. Like this way, it's oscillate continuously. And after that 4.5 second, where is the position? This is the asking question. Here time period. Again, x equal to a sine omega t plus del. x is the required. 0 0.1 sin omega 2 pi by capital T small t plus del. Now put the value. We determined earlier the initial phase del equal to del equal to pi by 2. Here the initial phase del equal to pi by 2 0 0.1 sin Here the answer is minus 0.1 meter. This 0.1 meter suggests me or suggests us that the position of the particle after 4.5 second, 1.1 meter away from the equilibrium, and the minus suggests that the opposite side where it is released. Where it is released means it's released from here. In the position now, the opposite side. That's been this answer suggests that after 4.5 second, the particle will be a stay <coughs> at this point. Now the next math. The time period of a particle executing simple harmonic motion is 0 0.01 second. This is the time period. It's the capital T. The capital T is given. Its amplitude is 0 0.05 amplitude. Capital A also given. Calculate the maximum velocity. Maximum velocity V max and the acceleration. That's maximum acceleration. A max is the required first word. On the other hand, the next one is at a point, point zero zero 0.002 meter uh, from the mid position, find the velocity and acceleration. Here the normal velocity and normal acceleration also required for uh, fixed displacement. The fixed displacement is, is x from the midpoint. Now, write down the given. We know the equation of the V max. The V max, we know the maximum velocity V max equal to omega a. Now, initially, we need to determine the omega. What is omega? Angular velocity or frequency. Three to radian per second. Now the v max now for the a max omega square a here minus us is the opposite end opposite side opposite direction the next part of the question at a point 0 0.02 meter from the mid position the it's called displacement meter per second and the acceleration 
omega squared x. Now, this is the answer for maximum velocity, acceleration, the normal velocity and the normal acceleration. This is the very important math to learn the use of the equations. Follow on. If the equation of a particle in simple harmonic oscillation motion is y equal to 10 sin omega t plus del. You just uh, surprised here why the displacement is uh, suggested by y. Uh, it can be possible to determine x or expressed by y also. So, displacement here marked by y so you can uh, carry on all through the math. Time period is 20 second time period capital T is given here capital T is given and initial displacement initial this word such as that small t equal to 0 second displacement means what is uh, the required this means x or y here given is y that's why the displacement is suggested by y also the displacement is 0 0.005 meter then determine the angular frequency angular frequency that's mean omega is required and another thing is that the initial phase initial phase we know if we the mark by initial phase del equals required of the particle now note right down the given Now the answer. The first of all, the first one, one number, angular frequency. Omega equal to we know 2 pi by capital T, 2, 3.1416 and capital T equal to 20 second, 0 0.314 radian per second. Now for the second one, we consider this equation the given equation y 10 sine omega t plus del now you need to determine the initial phase del this is the del the initial that's been time period time is small t equal to 0 and at the initial period the displacement is 0 0.05 0 0.57 degree it's a very important math a particle oscillating in a simple harmonic motion has the equation of a motion x equal to 10 cos special thing is that here uh, displacement expressed by the cos equation it can be possible to displacement uh, expressed by sine and also because this meter is the unit of the displacement what will be the displacement velocity and acceleration of the body after three seconds is the only one data this time is given three seconds now find out the displacement after t second here only one given t equal to three time t equal to three second put the value here here the important thing is that if the pi inside the angle or uses as the angle inside the cos or sine or tan as an angle then you should be put the value 180 or uh, it's uh, outside from the angle numerically and it is uh, used by the uh, replaced by the 3.141 the value is 5 meter now the velocity We know the velocity is the rate of change of displacement. That's been DDT of x. The value of the x 10 cos 6 pi t plus pi by 3. From the calculus, we know the 10 cos with cos converted into the minus side 6 pi t plus pi by 3 and extra 6 pi 
here the, the value of this pi is 3.1416 and value of this pi is 180 now put the value 163.15 meter per second derivation of the sign is cos so that minus 60 pi and here x touch 6 pi this is the answer for the displacement velocity and acceleration after three seconds some math practice has been done today here is a detailed discussion of when and how to do math using formula if there is a still problem talk to your subject teacher or me here it is for today goodbye Allah Hafiz.